hip cats and groovy kitties. It's the day before the Dutch Mason Blues Festival, and we're at the campgrounds. Now, it's a little bit empty right now, but it's going to fill up all day. There's campers coming, people coming to dig the 10th annual Dutch Mason Blues Festival. We're going to talk to some of those people. All right, we're at the Dutch Mason Blues Festival, and we're talking to some of the people here. Can I have your name, sir? My name's Dale. Dale. What brings you to the Dutch Mason Blues Festival? It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your name, my love? Leslie McDonald. Leslie McDonald. So now, Leslie, what's your favorite thing about coming to the Dutch Mason Blues Festival? I've been coming the festival for seven years. I, Dale Towers, my husband, I had to talk him into coming into it because <laughs> he was Singing blues was sad and not very happy kind of thing. And he got down here and he had the greatest time. And he's, we've been here ever since. <laughs> I've been told that uh, the campground is known as Blues Town and it's always a party here. Is that always. true? Doesn't matter what time of day or night or morning. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been coming to the Dutch Basin Blues Festival? 2007. Oh. I've been here every year except one. Wow. Yeah. Right on. Have you got a I bought this shirt. My first year. Oh, wow, that's only a one, only one hole, so it's the quality. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so, what's your name, sir? Pierre LeBlanc. Pierre LeBlanc. Welcome to the Dutch Mason Blues Festival, Thank man. Thank you very much, man. So, now, how many years have you been coming? Uh, this will be uh, the second year, but you know, it was uh, basically somebody told me about it, and I, I, and it was Dutchy Mason, and uh, I didn't want to miss it. So, now you've got a Dutchy story. Yeah, I do. Actually, when I lived in Halifax for 10 years working for a uh, flower company called Dover Flower on the uh, on the South End, mm -hmm. I used to go down to Barely's Pub. And uh, actually, I play harmonica, and uh, Dutchie was out in the crowd, or was playing, should I say. And uh, I started playing along on the seats. And Dutchie says, hey, why don't you come up and uh, play a few tunes with us? And they had, he had me up for five tunes playing some tunes. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, this is Barry. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> welcome. So now, Barry, when did you first come to the Dutch Mason Blues Festival? Seven years ago. Seven years. Hey, same as me. <laughs> so what's the one thing about the Blues, the, the Dutch Mason Blues Festival that you enjoy the most? Uh, it'd be hard to pick one. Right on. It would be. They have some really good music up there, some really fine tunes. You meet some really nice people, and you walk around the campground. There's always some good people playing. You know, it, it's a package deal. It's not a one thing. We have a fellow Newfoundlander here. What part of Newfoundland are you from? Clarenville. Clarenville, cool. So now what brings you to the Dutch Mason Blues Festival? Uh, I've been doing the Dutch Mason Blues Festival for uh, seven years now. I come up, I grew up in St. John, New Brunswick, so me and my uh, concert buddies, did it seven years ago, first time. Twelve dozen beer. That's us. Nothing else. <laughs> One tent. One tent. One tent. <laughs> no One tent. food. Yeah, no yeah. food. On, on a mission. Yeah. On a yeah. mission to get drunk and have a good time. Yeah. Anyways, we haven't missed a year after or since. You know what? There's, there's some uh, people that play in these campgrounds that don't do it professionally and probably every bit could be professional. Agreed. Right on. So there's even jams here in the campsites. Oh, jams go here the best, you know, best times at the campsite. So what's the one thing about the Dutch Mason Blues Festival that stands out in your mind as the most fun? Oh, the music. We're diehard music fans. Right on. Right Together here. and us. Yep. All of us. Yep. The people. Yeah. Everything. This is the 10th anniversary of the Dutch Mason Blues Festival. I mean, Dutchie's been gone for nine years now. Do you think he'd be pleased knowing how his legacy has been carried on by this festival? I think he'd look down and smile. And his son's carrying the torch. We're big gear fans. Some of his old buddies are still around. We're big gear fans. We're amazing. We're big, big gear fans. Right on. Yeah. And I'm glad that his son took it over and played because I play musical, a musical myself. I'm a bass player. Mm -hmm. And I play in a band called Mean Blues. <laughs> oh, cool. And uh, we do stuff like, uh, you know, like the ZZ Top, stuff like that, and the, this kind of thing is right down my alley, like, like Stevie yeah. Vaughan, like all kinds of stuff, so. Right on. And I wouldn't miss it. And uh, my guitar player is coming here for the first first time this year, too. He coming on Friday night. Sweet. So it's going to be sweet. All right. So who are you looking forward to this year? The one guy that you're the most uh, looking forward to? for Doyle. Doyle Bremen was second. Uh, we came for Doyle. Doyle that's, his, that's his idol, Doyle. Right on. Yep. Yeah, the kid's Jim done Hendricks. some amazing stuff. Like Jimi Hendrix the other way. Yeah. Doyle plays a regular guitar this way, yeah. but doesn't restring it. Yeah, so Albert strung King. upside down. Albert King. Whee!
<laughs> it's it's a, the best. For for fellow Newfoundlanders, would you recommend the Dutch Racing Blues Festival as oh, a destination? Most definitely. I'm sure I've seen people out getting on the ferry last night that are doing it. Right I've seen people come with motorcycles and all that. I'm sure they were coming. Now this year's Dutch Mason Blues Festival was three days of blues, bikes, and barbecue. And as you can see from the people that we spoke to, they have a great time while they're here. Not just at the campsite, but at the bike show, at the barbecue competition, all kinds of shopping, all kinds of great things going on. There are so many fabulous bands playing this weekend. On Friday you got Rick Deeringer. On Saturday you got Doyle Bramhall and the Greg Raleigh Band. And then on Sunday you've got David Wilcox. 23 bands two stages, including the Decade of Dutch. It's going to be a fabulous weekend. It's the Dutch Mason Blues Festival. Three days of blues, bikes, and barbecue. It starts tomorrow right here in Truro, Nova Scotia. There's still some campsites available, so get your camper, get the family, get down to the 10th Annual Dutch Mason Blues Festival.